Green home is a relatively new home concept to most Malaysians, but the trend is picking up in the local housing scene. Meet Melvin and Jaya, who live in a specially designed green home in Pataling Jaya. The concept that I came up with was to create something that was as open as possible. You could be part of the landscape, even from the inside of the house, as well as outside. It was never intended to be a green home. It kind of evolved. As I was designing it, I, I thought it would be a challenge. A challenge he took on not only to design and build his home from sustainable material, but to convince his wife that a bare finished house can be stylish and cozy too. I was inspired by the work by an Australian architect called uh, Sean Godseal. He did buildings that were constructed entirely out of uh, rusted metal. It's actually called Cortan steel. It's a type of metal that is naturally rusty and once it's fully rusted, it no longer rusts, it stays like that. Unfortunately, we can't get the material here in Malaysia. So I thought of another way of doing it. Just let it rust naturally and, you know, we preserve it in a, in a, in a, uh, by using a sealer to keep it sealed. Unlike the conventional method of building, the structure with concrete frame and bricks, Melvin opted to use concrete blocks to pile them up with reinforcements concealed to give the home a natural finish, sparing even the coat of paint. A few reasons why I did this. Being a green home again, we want to reduce um, manpower, we want to reduce material. The only setback is that you need fairly skilled workers to get it done properly, if not, it's not going to look right. It's time-consuming in that sense, and there's a lot of planning, because all the wiring, all the um, plumbing system, everything's inside the wall. So all that's going to be planned from day one, where it's going, before you actually lay the blocks. So the planning stage takes more time, but once it's done, everything is concealed, you don't have to hack the walls, everything's all built in, which is ideal for a green home. For a more efficient use of water, he placed a tank that stores rainwater. The tank is connected to the pipes in the garden, which is later used to water the plants. He also recommends bamboo instead of timber as a sustainable natural source for the floors, furniture and the deck. For natural ventilation, Melvin decided to bring the vent block back in style. We've designed the bathrooms all in vent blocks so that they're naturally ventilated. You don't have to have a window that opens. And I used the same concept for the garden. In this case, because it's facing the pool, you want it, it to be private. You can't see through, but it, let, it allows air to go through. Designing a bungalow on a 5,400 feet land, which is just a little over the space of a semi-D, and to incorporate a 40 by 12 feet lap pool, the architect had to maximize the use of space in a creative manner. Because we use a lot of glass and we play with volumes of spaces, like for example, you, you, when you enter into the hall, the living room is a double volume space. It opens up right up to the roof. There's no ceiling. This, this gives you a sense of, of space. And if you look at the rooms, the way the rooms are designed, um, the same thing. I've kept it as open as possible, lots of windows, lots of glass. So you don't feel you are uh, in a little cubicle, you know, you feel very open. One interesting feature of this green home is the experimental use of an antioxidant solution to keep the air quality good. It's a certain kind of enzyme um, that is, when you put it into um, a wall, for example, it emits um, negative ions and negative ions are like basically what how an ionizer works right it produces uh, this effect um, and what it does is it keeps my walls as it is it doesn't disintegrate it doesn't uh, get fungus and you don't have those sort of problems it's like I've got this um, built-in ionizer in the house which keeps the air uh, quality good his is the first home in Malaysia to use the solution throughout the building structure and finishes other green features that were implemented are the LED lighting and low energy appliances from the ceiling fans to the wine cooler. Although there are cost issues to be considered as these green homes easily cost 15 to 20 percent more than conventional homes, for Melvin and his family it was a price worth paying for the long-term returns. <music>